Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the Magician, Magician Tournaments. Radio Game 2! Uh, somebody else introduce these teams while I post this in self-promotion. Technically Game 3. We got a uh, small like Team Spirit, the return. This is a princess party. Gonna be a fun one. Yeah, I've had a bit yeah. of a hiccup getting everything set up today, but uh, it seems to be yeah. taking off just fine. And we even uh, have Ocelot! Every, every Dota game must be late. So... Every Dota game must be late. Especially when I'm here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's only when Ocelot is present. If you weren't here, we'd be on this like that. Alright, so... The game will be over by now. Yeah, yeah. Smells like Team Spirit V2 under Spaz the Spaz. Who's notably not actually picking for his team. Yeah, true. First man here, TA. Looking at getting rid of the old uh, Trash Boat TA. Trash Boat, uh, at least in the first set of games, was the mid for Princess Party. Ah, Lone Druid ban. Alright. Lone Druid ban. That's a very He's interesting ban. against the Lone Druid player. It's true. Could potentially be. We do have uh, two stand-ins for Smells Like Team Spirit, I believe. I think it's actually just one. I think it's actually just one. Yep. Chen. Just Chen. We're playing with Jackie Chen and Just Chen. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No Mars, smells, says Steam Spirit. Ah, Underlord ban. Interesting choice. I'm all for it's it. Definitely, it's definitely had a big presence in uh in recent weeks. Yep. Both LD2L and we've actually seen him here as well, here in the Magician tournaments. Yep. yep. Of course, speaking of people who are all over these tournaments. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There you oh, go. Ogre Magi's big blue dirty fingerprints are gonna be on this one. Game two! Uh, somebody Do you else think introduced. He's, he... like naturally blue colored. Do you think he just actually is covered in like that really disgusting like blue taki Cheeto dust? Shoutouts to uh, my own voice being really loud there because Twitch unmuted itself for absolutely no reason. Luckily, that's oh. been fixed. Got Oracle. All right. It's very very potent. Yeah, yeah, very potent. Yep, Oracle can do a lot for your lineup. He can also do a lot of bad for your lineup. He can, but he can do a lot of good for your lineup too. I believe uh, it's going to be London. That Montreal over there on a princess party is London of uh, LD2L's GGs. Yes. I believe he's playing support on this squad. Might be seeing him. We might, and we're going to be seeing, uh, likely be seeing that trash boat Viper here. Yep. Strong support and strong damage equal measure. That's a pretty good 1 2 start off there. Yep. And, and assume... the Oracle can uh, trap people in the Viper crap. It's true. It's two people who have very different approaches as well. Though we do have, uh, we do have the sort of issue there. Get bringing out the quap real early. That's very brave. Yeah. That's Team Spirit's part. Do yeah, have it's the potentially uh, too early mids. So yeah, the issue there. We do have a. There is a bit of an issue with the princess party in that they are very weak so far, to silence of any kind. You know, I, I always say it. What's big green and does no damage? One of you two? Uh, the Jolly Green Giant. No! <laughs> it's Viper when he's silenced! That's true. And uh, Queen of Pain is a natural orchid purchaser, so there's yep. that. I've seen a few games lately where Quops tend to uh, save up for a lot later in the game, uh, eschewing Orc and going straight for something like Scythe of Ice. Could also be pretty devastating. Yep. Oh yeah, nobody does any damage when they're uh, biased. A longer term, more stable for the silence would also do. Uh, yes, yeah, one damage. Uh, Razor is completely removed from the pool now. Yep. It's a lot of people that can main. Razor is a uh, pick that has, you know. Is basically a soft ban for quite a lot of people in the hero pool. Harsh right clickers with uh, very little ability to reposition themselves on a moment's notice typically don't like playing against them. So we might be seeing something like Monkey King, Life Stealer, uh, Ursa so much because he's got the furious yeah. lives. He still doesn't like. It, it's him. still yeah, it's still bad to have that turn around. Right. 
Yeah, you could also be seeing Troll Warlord in particular. Troll Warlord oh, hates yeah. Razor. We've seen that in the LD2L. Potentially Grimstroke on Spirit. It could Ooh, be. Ooh, yeah, that could be gross. That would be very nice. Yeah, it doubled up on the uh, on Fate's Edict and the uh, Purifying Flames. Could be extremely deadly. I believe you can get ready. actually caught in the AoE of both of the uh, channeled orbs if it's single targeted. Drow ban and Ricky ban. We got some really, uh. I feel like some of these picks are just along the same level of reason they're being picked. You got decent right clicker cores, you've got tanky uh, team fight interrupters, you got relatively beefy uh, in fighters. No Monkey King. Sources of silence or damage mitigation. Yeah, they don't want Monkey King, that's for sure. No surprise there. Uh, Razor, Monkey King, they, uh... Well, Razor's a pretty good counter up to him, so uh, knocking Monkey King out of the pool, not too unexpected, especially considering all the Monkey King we've been seeing through this through, through the LD2L, which is really yep. going to be sort of our background for this tournament, so to speak. Yeah, you know, I'm, be I'm starting to wonder if they pick Queen of Pain to deny the pick to the enemy team, and they're just trying to line something up that's more along with a... Uh... Quap would counter them, but we have them, so they can't pick that kind of situation. Could be, yeah. Thinking Ooh, potentially a Viper 3, which I is like possible. the clockwork pick. Yeah, we've been seeing some more clockwork than usual recently. People have been getting a little more oh, yeah. confident picking up the old... Oh, is the fun hero? Yep. Always fun to watch. Can p can makes for some very unfortunate situations. For example, if clockwork puts you in cogs and Viper is anywhere nearby, you're going to die unless you have BKB. <laughs> yeah. And a Simple quick pain as. camp blink if she's being better assaulted. Yep. Makes it very Clockwork's also for... one of those uh, one of those heroes you can who builds generally the same thing most every game, but I find that he had, gets the most unique uh, like the unique, yeah, the most unique output based on what jungle item he has. Right. Radiant team pick. Oh, oh Rubik, one okay. of your favorites. Hey, yes, indeed, one of my very most favorites. Actually, this is a so uh, usually right. through the through, usually through these tournaments we've been uh, seeing. Guys, under my magnifying glass, today we're going to be seeing somebody under Ocelots. Yeah, I'm actually rather uh, surprised that they'd pick Rubik as a uh, third pick here. Might be to set something up, could be to... Well, then again, they had two picks back-to-back, -back, so I guess it's not that huge of a risk, but... Yep. I, I can tell uh, you I can tell you what Rubik wants. He wants everything oh, they got, oh, basically. Okay. Yeah, he, he uh, Oracle, okay, huh? I can see why they picked Quap now. Legion well, I mean, Oracle, if... though? I, don't I know, mean, all you have to do is all you have to do is bait the ult and ult someone else. It's not yeah, typically that big a deal. Sure. It really doesn't matter who else he's dueling as long as your whole team's backing you up. It's not that great a risk. Also, with the Rubik there, you've got the potentially funny situation where uh... of Steel Oracle's own ult and right, then he's right. on LC, and that's right. just a nightmare scenario. Or you know, Clockwork's cogs trap him in afterwards. Man, Rubik with battery assault. It's not very well stated, but the fact that it. It's harder and for longer. It's it is. Ooh. It's nasty. It's nasty business, though. He Rubik's going to have a lot on his plate. Oh, oh no! We're coming, and that's not what else yes. he wants to see. Yeah, that's another kind of battle scene. <laughs> oh no, man! That is that is what I could only describe as a uh, a low key nightmare. It's not it's not immediately bad looking, but it's uh, not something in their favor. Ooh. Interesting, right. man. They uh, got rid of Tito. The uh, Rubik's going to have a lot on his plate when it comes to actually making sure duels are successful. He is going to have a very unenviable task because Rubik is basically the guy. He's got to do something about Oracle. He's got to do something about Viper. And he's got to do something about the Troll Warlord. And it's really kind of up to him to do all those things at this point. Indeed. I'm banned on PL there. I guess... Uh... Do they really have the affordability to take PL with that team comp at this point, or is that just a denial ban just to prevent the like the risk of it? There's certainly a one slot available on Spirit. Yeah, it could be. Uh, the, the it looks right now to be. Uh, you know, I'm I'm looking at both teams. I got to say this right now. Uh, either team could really really benefit from having Enigma, even with the Rubik. As far as Princess Party goes, they could do a great amount of damage with Enigma on top of what they already yeah. have. I could tell you what I would draft on Princess Party for my last uh, my last slot, but it's it's every everybody in this chat knows exactly who I would say right now. So uh, the A of bad on absolutely screws over LC by basically being an un 
Yeah, I mean, even party. for the other team, Claw Control don't like him, Viper doesn't like him, Oracle can't do anything to him. Right. Centaur Ben, yeah, that makes sense. On the other hand, it. with uh, with Princess Party, he basically he gets rid of a lot of Quab's damage, can inert Ogre Magi almost entirely. Um, Doesn't give course, Rubik a lot to steal aside from his ult. Yep, really of course, uh, instantly nullifies LC almost in general because not only does he suck to duel, he makes it suck to duel anybody around him, and yes. you don't have to run the risk of uh, Viper breaking him during duel because they have Viper. All right, we're now in the final pick and ban stage of the game, and uh, we got people definitely burning through their reserve time, making these last two choices count. Yep. Old, uh, Smells Like Team Spirit does not want to have the, uh, the same fate as the original Smells Like Team Spirit, or Smell Like Team Spirit, as it were. Yeah, yeah. Gotta say, it's, uh... It's almost a, an, an air of tension right now, considering what these last picks and bans are going to be. I feel like with the ban in place, oh, yep, that's a very good choice for ban. Yeah, Luna would definitely uh, have a lot to I say I mean, there. yeah, especially since they can't really take it, because Rubik absolutely predates on a Luna dropping ult too early. She has a huge wind-up, it's very obvious when it's coming. You can steal it, no effort. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Oh, instant Timber saw. Well, they, uh... They they heard me uh, say in one of my own boys they decided to pick a different one. <laughs> it's gonna be Princess as the three, huh? All right, Princess, you're gonna be super under my magnifying glass. Then we got two guys to watch in this game: Jackie Chin on the Rubik and Princess on the Timbersaw for the casters. Nobody for Randy because there's no like Randy heroes in this lineup. Yeah, that's true. I think they're uh, I think they're switching up with the uh, stand and switching up their normal positions here. Because uh, Chin here, the Wraith King, is up in place of Cranberry Sprite, who is traditionally a four. Yep. Yeah, we got like the living birdcage over here on the right. Yeah. He's in jail. Sorry, I don't mean to roast. I don't mean to roast your set. It just looks a little. No, go ahead. Absolutely roast everybody's set. <laughs> I mean, you right, got, you, you goddamn got like, Toucan Road Sam. Spaz, got... sp Spaz running in on Toucan Sam over there. Yeah. Looking, yeah. looking for the uh, looking for the Fruit Loops. In this game, yeah. Huh is the goddamn pope. The pope, <laughs> yeah. London is nothing. <laughs> He's got no <laughs> clockwork clock cosmetics. Oh uh, man, he got like troll warlord, but he like forgot to switch into his cool hat. Troll warlord looks like he's doing like cosplay. Like it looks like <laughs> troll warlord yeah. at the convention. And of course, you got this viper set, like, which appeals like viper with else. viper with scoliosis. Timber saw, which has his big evil donut. All right, let us see. All right, so here is your good luck. Have fun. Here is your rundowns on Smells Like Team Spirit V2. Chen standing in for Cranberry Spirit on pause one, usually pause four. Wraith King today. Pause two, we've got Chad Farthouse as uh, Queen of Pain. Quite an interesting name there. Pause three, blue chain. Got a clockwork going in deep here. He's moving fast. Yeah, he's uh, see him going. Oh, they spotted him. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, they definitely. Oh. Is that okay. a great idea? Are they gonna bait that? No, they can't okay. actually see it. Okay, okay. You can make the Clock assumption. Clock predicted the ward there. Okay. Oh, that's sad. It's barely out of range, yeah. Yeah, just ever so slightly. Blue Jay, newcomer to the tournament, uh, I believe will be seen in the next LD2L season, or uh, potentially uh, higher D2Ls. I'm not really sure. He, 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 Blue Jay will be seen in a future LD2, uh, or rather D2L tournament. Currently, pause huh? three as the Legion Commander. Pause four, Jackie Chen on the Rubik. Pause five, we've got uh, Spaz is a Spaz team captain on the Ogre Magi. On and the other let's hand, go. on uh, on the bootleg Radiant Straits, we've got Lambert, pause one, as the Troll Warlord. Pause two, we've got Trash Boat, currently Viper. Pause three, Princess on the Timber Saw. Pause four, we've got London on the Clockwork. And pause five, we've got, huh? The, uh, the infamous stand-in from the Baby Schlark uh, game last week. Currently on the Oracle. 
friends, let us skirmish indeed. <laughs> it's been a it's been a minute wait getting in here, so. Luckily, everybody except Trash Belt was okay with the wait. Yep. Clockwork, uh, oh. good, uh, good cocktail. Throwing a bunch of spells out here, yeah. Just pressing all their buttons. I tell you what I like, I really like the, the Timber Saw and Clockwork combination. It is basically a guaranteed kill at 6 for, uh, for Timber Saw. Yep. Timber Saw is not in the best spot right now. His numbers, kinda bad. But, with a hero like Clockwork at his side, it can do a lot, and he's pretty good contextually against quite a few of these guys. He's good against the Ogre Magi, he's... Pretty good against the uh, Wraith King because he's one of those guys who likes the uh, long fights that Wraith King kind of makes happen. And he has dual disruption. Yep, very good dual disruption. Clockwork Ooh. actually pretty low, but uh, Timber Thought is getting right in the middle of that blast. Yeah, these are two heroes in this uh, in this off lane here that really don't care about getting in deep and just going for damage. Oh yeah, they they are uh, they are here to make this as unfun as possible for uh, for Chin and Spaz. It's a real Chin. Unfortunately from for them, uh, Wraith King and Ogre both are pretty high strength uh, stat lords. They scale pretty nicely, and they can still consistently, even at low level, uh, beat and right click fights. It's a bit yep. scary. Speaking of which, uh, we got Clockwork. He's uh, trading damage here, but Ogre's sheer stats are letting him tank this really heavily. Yeah, yep. if you had a, uh, if you, if you actually had Rubik down here in the safe instead of up here off, um, then very likely Rubik would have actually died by now. But Ogre is so tanky, he's just able to eat what they got and just keep going. Timber fuck you for last hits. Yeah, Rubik's... Rubik's perennial weakness really is that he can't trade right clicks very well. Oh, Timber saw. Uh, big trouble here! It's oh, and first enough. blood to the Ogre Magi. Oh, and Clockwork traps himself a little. He's gonna be fine though. Yep. First blood to the Ogre Not probably not the guy who super duper wanted to get that first blood, but it's never a bad thing to get. Timber saw probably uh, cursing reality right now. He's just a just a few XP shy of uh, level three getting Timber Chain, likely. Yep. Timber saw is doing fantastic for last its denies though. He's uh Yeah, he's top of the unfortunate entire that he ate that death, but he has to be aggressive. He can't just let it uh, overwalk all over him. It's just unfortunate that he doesn't have the stats for right click potential at the moment. Yep, he's actually yeah. going all in on his uh, E rather than uh, getting any levels of timber. He chain. sort of has to pretty four. necessary after seeing that, yeah. The the sad thing is is um you know, sometimes you have that issue at timber side. Do I go into my E so I can actually like yeah, or do I go into my W so I can actually just get out and live through things, or do I go into my E so I can, uh... Fittingly enough, it is very reactive. Things. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely should not... It's definitely not one of those heroes where, uh, you should be using... You can just level off a cookie-cutter build, yeah, yeah. You have to very much uh, level as appropriate or as needed. The situation always evolves, and uh, so do your needs. Right. Looking, uh... I thought he was finishing, uh... A power treads or phase boot saber these actually. Excuse me, going right for armlet. A nice little stack and pull there. The top oh, uh, Quap's in trouble actually, down in the uh, bottom jungle. Oh, well, barely blinks out in time there. Yep. Rubik's here. He's uh, either here for backup or he's just here as a deterrent. I don't think they know he's here yet actually. Doesn't look like they need his help at the moment yep. though, so looks like everything's all back to normal. Back to return to status quo, as they say. Got a contested uh, jungle camp pull here between LC and Oracle, but it just seems to be a stalemate. They both yep. uh, absconded. Kind of both ended up uh, getting a little what they wanted, though LC ultimately not able to uh, pull out the creeps here. LC, very unfortunate uh, situation here. Um, she is going to have something to do, something to say in this mid game, but in lane, she's going to be a little. A little hard pressed to do that much about Troll Warlord here. Mm, Clockwork's trying to interrupt this creep pull here. Oh no, this is all kinds of bad on both sides. Yep, somebody's teeping in for Ogre's getting Jackie melted. Chen. Oh man. Timber saw in Timber a saw lot can't of trouble. take the heat. He, he does have Timber Chain. He is uh, more than ready to get out of there. He's actually. He actually oh, wants no, to keep he fighting. The tree. I think Rubik actually uh, just blew the tree he was trying to go to yeah. there. 
I don't think he did actually, because his uh, he doesn't have anything to do it. Oh, uh, Wraith King is oh, stuck. No. He is trapped he in the trouble. Oh, it's right. super one trouble. One. So low. That one. Oh, the dream's alive. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's so no. low. He's oh. cut down. Just barely ends up going down there. Oh, oh and Timbersaw is stuck under the tower for a bit longer than he wants. But it's fine. Clockwork body blocking on his way out. He killed the Rubik's boots off his courier. That's rather sad. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Timbersaw still sticking around here. Timbersaw still does, does not want to go home. Does also have a TP scroll? Because he doesn't have one to get out of here if his land up top gets Timber. in trouble. Timber does. Timber does. Rubik does not because he TP'd down oh, here from top. Can. Ouch. Ogre does have a TP, but he is so low mana right now and he has no region, so he's not going to be able to uh, redeploy anytime soon if he Ooh, needs it. Elsie's uh, up top here is taking quite a few uh, yeah. taking quite a few hits and trading them, but definitely alone at the moment. Not something you have the... Oh, no. Just I don't think, really. Yeah, I don't think they're going to... Yeah, go Troll has in. no mana. They can't follow up on this quite yet. Yep. I don't think they're going to go in on LC necessarily, but they're going to beat her down enough to route and just uh, get some free farm for a while. Yep. She is kind of unwilling to route at the moment, though. Quad refreshes her bottle on a nice, tasty bounty rune. Speaking of bottle, uh, Clockwork refills the bottle for old uh, Vibe. Yep. Very nice, Jeff. got a... Uh... Got three people down here bottom still. Looks like they're after Timber. If they're gonna jump him, I guess now would be the point, but he just yep. hit six, so... Bit of a risky proposition with Chakram being in the equation, because he's he does right. have that Arcane Boot Soul Ring combo. He's a lot yeah, deadlier than they the, give him credit for. Fox headed down here. They see him on a war, they want him. Or do they? No, they're just, no, they're just uh, out, keeping... drawing attention to the fact that he's there. Right. Seems like they're just, uh... They're just gonna rotate to oh. try here. Perhaps they just want to yeah. keep some guys in lane while Wraith King just retires to the jungle, but... Quap returns to mid lane. Honestly, if, if uh, Wraith King was just gonna live in the jungle for the rest of his life, life the play was probably to have LC come down here and take safe lane while uh, Wraith King just jungled. Speaking of LC, uh, she's actually most lasted currently over on Radiant Team, and she's not doing too bad on Denies. She's oh, keeping Rubik her far- in the oh, cog, no. getting Chakram. Oh, the no. Oh, oh, no. oh no! And down he goes. Ouch! Man, and the cogs and the chakram. It really sucks to be you. LC coming in to try oh, and do something about it. She does have dual armor. Timber she can able to go for it though. He's at max dex. Yeah, that's LC a. You can't do this. Oh no! Here comes backup. Oh dear. She's getting oh, hammered. Oh, oh, oh. The chakram ends up uh, knocking her out. Clockwork puts Wraith King in jail, yet. but that's oh. not the guy he wants to have in jail. Wraith King just completely knocks him out. Still fighting here. Radiant pulling everybody in here to try and get Timber off the uh, Wraith King. And Timber is just mincing them. Yeah, they really yeah, don't they have, they a don't have the ability to kill him yet. yet. Yeah, they don't have anything like, uh, they don't have Oracle's raw magic damage really to afford for this. He can take this tower Ogre for magic. a long oh. time. Ogre Magic going oh, down boy. to uh, just an Oracle auto attack of all things. You're pulling a lot of focus on oh, the spotlight, yeah. but finally Quop shows up. One scream later, Timber Saw is uh, staying on the carpet. Sonic Wave hits the field, and all that's left is, well, just that. Cream of Timber Saw. Princess uh, <laughs> sarcastically calls Quop is missing after he uh, gets open. <laughs> nice. It's always good to see. That uh, that whole state of affairs though just gave Troll Warlord quite a lot of time to build up some uh, some last hits and XP up here. He's uh, pretty, doing pretty good for uh, levels and money now. Getting hassled down here. She's actually pretty low mana, so she can't do much about this. She kind of yep. has to walk away. I think, uh, I think Radiant tried to put a little too much in just, uh, beating Timbersaw, just knocking him out of this lane. I think maybe the strat for Radiant here would have rather been to ignore Timbersaw, just pull Wraith King somewhere else to keep him in the jungle, you know. Keep Wraith King in the jump jungle, maybe have, like, a couple of supports occupy him for a while, and just, uh, try to avoid fights until it was the point where he's not going to be doing that much damage to you. Now, looking at some of the last hits here, uh, Timbersaw is still dominating that right now. He is very, very farmed. Despite that death early in, he's more than made up for it. 
he bounced back a bit more than I think they were expecting to on the Radiant team. Yep, and uh, as traditional, first tower to die, Radiant T1 bot. Let's take a look at the net worth as we start to exit the lane phase here. Ooh, mama, that is uh, a lot of money for the Viper's tower here. Viper's already got his boots of travel, actually. He's smoking wow. towards Troll. The troll Warlord. There's a bit of a fix here. Nobody's really around for... And now we wait. Wait. I feel like if they're going to jump, uh... Door. door. <laughs> Who's at the door? It's, it's Race King. Chin. Yeah. Ch chin opens the door. It's the real Chen. Like I heard you were messing with my intellectual properties. Yeah. I'm I a registered say, I heard... trademark. I reg he's a registered something. All right. <laughs> oh God. Look over here at Troll. I guess, uh, I guess you got this set up, like, right? Jehovah's Witnesses or something. <laughs> yeah, but look it up here at um Troll. I don't think this gank they're wanting here is even worth it because I'm sure that they could like dive tower and beat him up. But if he manages to hit his ult before duel goes off, and he'll probably hit that. They can't Sonic wave him, and I mean they could beat him up and kill him afterwards. But that gives him plenty of time for his buddies to show up. And I'm pretty sure they're all carrying TPs at the moment. Let's find out if that's true or not. Racing Viper's got right travels. Here. Viper has travels, he's got a TP. Timber still has got TP ready. Clockwork has no TP. They could yeah. definitely rotate for this. If they rotate for it, they're gonna. If, they're, if they end up rotating, they're gonna definitely lose that fight because. On the other hand, is never mind. He just hit six a bit ago. Yep. On the other hand, if uh, if if uh, Troll Warlord gets totally completely cut out here and he does not get to uh, get the duel up in time or get the ult top in time for the duel, rather, he is. Uh, He's not going to have a good day. Right, here we go. Let's see how it shakes out. Still looking here. Oh, there'll be some shaking, all right. He also has some, uh, like, a sub-fight. Got a wave for Sonic, wave cooldown. Now it's off cooldown. Now they can go. Duel up. Uh, he, oh, yeah. up. he hit it. He yep. hit it. Here comes the rotate. Yep. First Where's rotate Viper? the Oracle. You need Viper. Where's Viper? He needs to be here yesterday. Yep. Doesn't matter. Uh, LC is going down. Viper has arrived. Just to make uh, sure that said. nothing can happen there. Should actually, uh, Wraith King actually had to wow. retreat there. Just to make sure he didn't just immediately die. Quab just gonna TP casually. Meanwhile, down at mid, the the uh, Rubik is able to knock out Clockwork there. Just on a little uh, side spat. As Timber saw, just very casually. Yep. Just uh, pushing down the T2 here at bot. He's actually had so much time to do this from, uh, from what we've seen there. That this tower is already half dead. And, yeah. and fallen. People are uh, starting to call it. I think that was Timbersaw himself pinging the tower. Look, here's this thing I'm knocking down. Got an ogre here. Yep. We we are getting some rotations though. Unfortunately, ogre was just not quite able to oh, uh, stun out in time. Timbersaw is uh, Timbersaw is in a bit of trouble here though. He has a long way to go. Viper showing up to uh, to go pull back up here as uh, all of Radiant is just having to walk away. Ogre Magic getting burst down by uh, damage over time. Uh, he is. Uh, he, yeah, no, he's down. Oh. Yep. Chakra Rubik, and. Uh, all he could grab was Nether Tox, and that's not worth it. He's probably going to die for it, too. Oh, yep. he is. Yep. Oh, there yeah. he did. He's overextended. Here comes LC. He's going way too deep. He's got the duel ready. Does he want to take this, yep. though? He actually didn't, because Clockwork showed up and made that so scary that uh, and LC Oracle's just had to turn nearby, around. and he's got double damage. Oh, Oracle's got yeah. double damage. He's yeah, he's got that glowy eyes cosmetic. He's just sitting there. He's like, "Fight me." That was a uh, point of pain for me. Able to respond as effectively as Ooh, you maybe that's wanted a nice to. Fine for Timber. Yep. That was uh, that was a good sequence of events on both sides. There it was a good uh, attempt to set up. There was a good tee up for the uh, radiant. It's very good of, of uh, you know, Clockwork to just demolish it. <laughs> oh, oh, casual hold oh, down goes Viper. So there's that too. That's very good for their team. Uh oh. Oh, okay, they got out of there. I think gonna come out of that. Rubik stole Fortune's they, uh, End. Yep, Fortune's End. No more Fortune. No more uh, magic or fizz immunity for Dembisa. You're still chasing down here. The oh, Radiant, very damage. desperate. Uh oh, LC yeah. coming in for round two. Does not actually want to take the Timber Saw though, even though Timber Saw is very low. V insisting on the Oracle, but Oracle is just a little too fast. Oh, now Timber Saw has got away. You know, like they say, if you chase two rabs, you'll lose them both, and I think that's kind of what we just saw there. 
Uh, Clockwork super low. He actually dies before the duel gets out, though. LC just can't find anyone here. Ogre barely makes it out alive. No, LC is super low. Oh, LC's shot. dead. Goodbye, oh, LC. Just troll to sweep the house. Yep. Yep. Clean Support's just getting absolutely demolished here. Oh, he's here. getting blocked by creeps. Quap actually he's going down get to get the two cogs. <laughs> Right, Troll cool. just got completely denied by Creep's body blocking him. Good cogs, please, yep. and then uh, that fight. Technically, actually, a victory for the uh, Radiant. Notably, Cause as well. So much trouble. Gotta say, uh, towards the end of that fight, there, uh, I thought honestly that everything was coming up Timber's side. I mean, he got that big team fight, he got that kill, and he got an arcane ring out of the jungle for an item. But uh, immediately had a turnaround there when Quap's party just decided to roll back over and. Then it was a turnaround yep. again, very back and forth. Yep. Ultimately, technically, a win for the rating, especially considering that unlike Troll Warlord, uh, Wraithing did not show there, meaning he was just farming yeah, up that whole time, I, and he's uh, doing I, stacks, I too. I'd just like to draw some attention really quick to the current top five members of the Last Hit Deny board. Troll is absolutely shredding right now. Yep, he's uh, he's going to town on the uh, on Last Hits. On the other hand, as far as net worth goes, Timbersaw is still actually out in front. Three members of the Dire. Kind of with a monopoly on the net worth charts. Wraith King actually quite far behind. Now you're just Tier one's down. gonna hit the dirt. Yep, just seizing down here at mid. And down it goes. Indeed. Got a haste on Oracle. Uh oh. That's a good yep. Go! Oh, no! The fortune says That was great! That was great! Oh my god. They're getting melted though. There's no fortune Zen. He's gonna die to his own damage. Look at this! Wraith King's gonna fight. He's dead! He's gonna fall. He's so low. He's so low. The Yules to uh, just buy time, make sure to uh, waste the uh, LC ult. Oh, First Mike, reincarnate, I believe, of the game. But man, they don't have much to uh, follow up on this. Clockwork uh, oh, put down cogs to get him out of body. jail. Troll Warlord's here. He ults, oh, but they just done. stun him. See, that's oh, what you do, man. Randy. The mission cannot be stopped. Oh, the oh he sure can. He's dueled. First oh, duel one oh, of the oh, game is oh, on oh, Troll. Oh. Very oh, brave, boy. and it paid off. Timbersaw now just gonna go down very casually. This cannot, oh, this cannot, wanted. cannot be what the princess party was expecting. I have to say that was a very, very scary team fight for both sides. It looked like they honestly had it over on princess party. It smells like Team Spirit successfully managed to kite the enemy around and actually did something very difficult. They managed to maintain their hero's effective, safe operating range. They stayed at just the right distance to keep from taking damage, minimize risks, and managed to just eke out that victory by sheer management of positioning. And they very, also had, they rough. were also very quick on the draw. They were very quick on the draw to, I, uh, I gotta be honest, both on I, thought that that bait with Forge, I thought honestly thought that Oracle baiting with False Promise was gonna be the play there. It got completely superseded by expert handling of their hero's abilities and their spacing. Yeah, yeah that was very good. That was a very good turn for, uh, for Spaz's team there. If I'm Spaz, I'm chuffed right now, you know. That com that compare that to uh, the team's performance in the uh, main league. And consider as well, you know, Spaz, he's still the hero of the people here. This is two people. You know, Blue Jay, this is his uh, debut in this sort of circuit it, completely. You know, Chin is, uh, Chin is an old hand, but he is not in the uh, league right now. He's not even a stand-in, I don't believe, in uh, any of the D2Ls at the moment. Chad Farthouse, I believe, uh, on that same boat. Spaz still hero of the people here. I think that's almost to an advantage for him. You know, the uh, Princess Party. The, oh, the, the, like, you got to be gank happening up top here on uh, Timbersaw, maybe. Nope, never mind. Actually? Oh, they're just pulling out. You now want to uh, actually take that fight right now. The duel is actually the highlight of that last fight. Just it as was soon as the troll timed. ends, and before he can get axes out. Before just, he can access, a, get axes out, about, and under the tower while it's beating him up, too. There's about a second where you're able to do that. If you do it one second too early or one second too late, you likely lose that yeah, duel. I, I feel like the big problem that went wrong there is that they failed to knock out Rubik in that back line, and he was allowed to throw a Nether Toxin down at several opportunities in the middle of that fight. And without that, your passives running, like, Viper without his own passive is really sad. On top of that, uh, as well, the the Radiant were able to, uh, to kind of play around Clockwork there. Clockwork is not able to hook in really effectively, and he, uh, his cogs... Saved for just a moment, but nothing longer than that. Did not actually oh go. no! Oh Viper no, super dude! Dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow! He is emphatically dead. Tremendous amounts of overkill. There is a uh, there is a faint hint of Viper left, but I think that's about it. Nah, that's just Ozone. 
There's a there's a fond memory of Viper left, but that's it. A vaguely fond memory. Something like that. I mean, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be scrubbing them out of old photos like Stalin, but you know. <laughs> Maybe there, if Kid there Dynamite was, once, was the there one was once a man here. Uh, you, you know those uh, like those flash marks, like the outline of a person's shadow, just like stuck into a wall. Yeah, kind of like that. Brief technical difficulties here. In fact, I'm going to entirely DC. Oh, that's good. Oh, just in time for on. troll. Oh no, bro. Oh, Timbers. All right. Yeah, Very they dead. killed him. Uh, I, I thought he was one. actually going to survive that for a second, but no. Radio comic. Even, even. Even through all that, just they couldn't keep him alive. There we go. All right, back into uh, back in the game here. Apologies for that brief interruption there. Dyer's bottom you missed Timber Saw getting absolutely flattened. Yeah, I got dueled. Very sad. LC missed out on a lot uh, of those early duels. She's likely not going to have a super long however, late game as a result, but she's starting yeah, to turn well, back. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. Looking at their team right now, they're very coordinated. They're sort of rolling a death yeah, ball. Yeah, they're death the balling. Uh, I was yep. about to say they're they're absolutely death balling right now. They're just as soon as they see someone on the map who looks a little vulnerable, they just run all five heroes at them, duel them, quaffle. Yeah, they do a they do a dead. quick scan of the yeah. See that they're pinging down here. They're trying to keep track of, uh, for example, where Troll is. And the second they know where he's not, they jump on someone, rip them apart. Right. Yep. Matter of fact, yep. uh... Tim Ooh, Timbersaw just got a nimble. We smoked again. Well, They're well, just gonna go again. This is such yep. a good strategy, actually. Oh, oh no, dude! Viper's goal, gonna but get Oracle is looking right at it! Oracle, but he, he does it all! He almost got it off, but he, he waited too long! Oh my god, that is a swift death. That is very sad. I think potentially that might just be uh, because Paul is more of a carry player than a support player. This cannot be how thing how uh this is an outstanding example of a death ball there. I have just, to say though, uh there's a, a troll a squad of terror. In absence of being in these fights, he is amassing a tremendous amount of assets in gold. Yep. That's true, he is at the top of the net worth charts now. Fortunately, and I, think, I honestly think death. at this point he can't really afford to be in fights at this point, because oh, if yeah. they're death balling, troll suffers in death balls. He's he's really good at when the fight gets a bit too chaotic to keep track of, he's allowed to beat up your supports and just hit his ult without much fear. Right. Roche goes down. Quap picking the up picking up the Aegis. Probably the best person to have it on right now. Tro right. Or Timbersaw just kinda sitting around mid here. Clockwork patiently waiting for the right person to hook to show up. Right. Positioning himself in there, but uh, does not actually ultimately find anybody. Here. Got a big circle on the map. Yep, Rubik uh, predicts that this is a congregation in the triangle, and he's correct. Yep, right on the money there. There's a very tense bit of mo moment here. Both teams kind of uh, just angling at each other. Yep. I was starting to say earlier, I don't think LC is going to be able to uh, go into like a super, super late game. Like if she had been winning. Oh, another game, smoke on this this time on it. Guys, guys, we have a dire smoke. They're coming, coming in, in. They're looking in the jungle. They want somebody. I, who do they after? They're after LC. LC. Yeah. Oh, boy, are we going to actually see it? No, and, like, he got revealed by Rubik. I honestly thought we were going to see out. the taste oh, of ruined medicine. Yeah. That would be funny. Troll took a lot of damage from Dots there, and he's still taking it. Yep. He might Pop actually. actually kinda... No, he's not gonna die to Dots. Oh, oh he's gonna oh, sure he is. Is. <laughs> Oh my god. That orchid. There you go. Yep. Just absolutely Chad melted Chad just or... gave him the Dutch oven. Yeah. That is uh, not what you want to see if you're the Princess Party right now. As I was starting to say a couple of times, this cannot be what they expected, you know? You look at Smells <laughs> Like Team Spirit, you look at how, how things went with uh, them in the LD2L. You look at uh, the lineup on paper, and you probably, even with the uh, stand-in for Jen, you're probably not thinking this is how this is going to go for you. This has got to be, you know, we've got to be a bit of a uh, panic moment here, especially having uh, Troll Warlord. It seems like every time anything goes wrong, the first thing that happens is Troll Warlord just gets evaporated. Randy, you're a doctor, right? Yes. As the Dr. Dota, what's the prescription here? What does uh, Princess Party need to do to turn the nose up? Drag the game out and hope they have an answer for Wraith King when they do. 
I do think they do have a pretty good answer in the form of Troll Warlord. He is not somebody Wraith King wants to see. In fact, they have a pretty good anti-Wraith King lineup in general with Viper as well, Clockwork. Now, they have some good answers to the Wraith King. The only problem is they don't have much of an answer to, uh, well, Quap and specifically Rubik slash Ogre because right. between the bursts that they can potentially churn out, and I'm, I, you haven't noticed it potentially, but... A handful of people on this team are very reliant on their passives, and if Rubik steals right. Nether Toxin like he's been Nether consistently Nether. doing, yep. they'd turn useless. Yeah, Force exactly. They melt. Goodbye, Clock. Troll Warlord can't do any damage if he's passive broken. Timber Saw can't tank if he's passive broken. Viper can't tank if he's passive broken. Yep. You know, it is it is a good point. The Nether Toxin is having a uh, I think a noticeable effect. Viper is playing a dangerous game, sitting as close as he is to that tower. I don't think they want a uh, kill right now. They might if he uh, gets any closer, though. They can do it. Yep, oh, here we boy. go. Quop going right in. Quop all balls with the Aegis. Just there we go. Rick's got it again. And Sonic Wave is available to play with. So they do not actually want to take this. So they would rather go beat up the Troll Warlord. Troll Warlord does get himself a casual solo T2 mid though. You're not actually able to get it. The actual creep equilibrium right now is so bad. They're just having to pull out of here just because they can't afford to stay or else they're going to just lose a T3 out of nowhere. Yep. So oh, nice hook shot. shot. Yep, retreat wasn't super well organized though. And Ogre Magi is going to man. completely get eaten as a result. Left to the yeah, wolves. Yeah, the hook shot. Luckily, at the very least, they failed to get Wraith King on the retreat, even though he was kind of in as bad of a position. Now, like, crappy positioning, I mean, he was just out. He could not not be yeah. out. Timbersaw got himself a Kaya. I believe that's SNK for him. Except he, call it, he can't call it SNK. You have to call it KNS because uh, SNK would sue otherwise. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I still call it <laughs> SNK. Sponsored by SNK. Just like Lambert is sponsored by Adam and Eve. Just like all those things in Christian's room. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, I made the same joke last time. Uh, we had we had a Lambert match, and Randy didn't get it. So, see, this is why the three-man desk is superior, because Ocelot gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get all I'm of not, I'm, not, I'm not a, I'm not a degenerate like you guys. So degenerate. That's internet. Primo internet history you're talking about here, Randy. Yeah, you're, you're, you're talking to a couple of Crystorians here. Exactly. Troll Warlord gets himself a BKB. That actually does have a lot of power to change uh, change fate here. Yep. Troll, Troll like Warlord being able to just needs to be, to be a little more than just the BKB. I'm, I'm honestly of the opinion he may need to get himself an early Satanic or something, because they don't have an answer to him getting healing this early. That is true. Magic that is true. If he is able to uh, pull out the Satanic next, and he's uh, certainly... He's thinking about going strong because he not only did he queue a basher, he also has the uh, the satanic there as well. He's already bought morbid. So I'm gonna be honest. His net worth is entirely due to the fact he's gotten so many last hits and cashed them into items already. He needs something smoke. to set him ahead of the game. Three smoke now. I want to point out that there's another source of uh, silence and spirit now. Another quap has the shard. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be a little more trouble for uh, you know, timber your viper, in particular. Your timber, yeah. Viper as well. Viper has DD here for the next fight. Hookshot goes out, uh, barely whiffs. Almost. LC, really hungry here, wants to actually turn around even without Wraith King being around. She has a BKB, that's why. She has a full 9 second waiting. Yep. On the other hand, uh, if she does go for a duel here, the other person, the Oracle, is nearby. She basically oh, has to duel Oracle here, Something but man, it's a now. hard thing to uh, stomach with 5 around. Lambert calls for hot chili as uh, the outpost trade ends mutually. Yeah, it's true. Wraith oh, King's Titan Sliver. Pressure. It's pretty good. Titan Sliver's a nasty find. Sure. himself immediately, yep. Wraith King's soul pushing up top while uh, the rest of the Radiant con congregating around the team. is. You might consider poking high ground, maybe? I would certainly consider it, you know. If, uh, you can bait some TPs and just get out yourself. You just wasted a lot of time. There for is a, also in a prime position to poke. Racing, not sure who's around right now. He's being very hesitant about this. But he's finally walking up. 
I feel like this is a really risky proposition to try and take this uphill while they still got uh, Rubik waiting to just steal anything. He's got Nether Toxin, he's making great use of it. They've already pulled out Timbersaw. Timbersaw no longer up at top. Wraith King takes that as a sign oh. to get out. Smoke Doesn't again. Do much. Doesn't do much to the tower, but it does uh, kind of ruin that. Need a Radiant Smoke out. Radiant uh, Smoke and looking for people in the jungle, though uh, Dyer pulled out of there at that Mach 6. Yeah. They are not falling yep. for that again. Spidey senses. Yeah, that game sense is really strong over there on t uh, Princess Team. And no surprise there. Some of the uh, higher level people in this tournament, in the LD2L. This tournament in general. Yep. I did uh, famously say that uh, these, these guys, the uh, Princess Line was probably my favorite to win it all overall. Ooh, Enchanted Quiver. Found by Troll Warlord. Randy's favorite jungle item. Yeah, it's a good one. It's pretty good for Viper. I feel like he needs the uh, spider legs currently more, unfortunately. Got the Elven Tunic up on Radiant. Elven Tunic could do uh, pretty good here. They do not have any Agi here. Stand up this Radiant movement. They found a uh, Quop, uh, but uh, that's yeah, probably not the guy it. who wants to go forward into her. Also uh, got Troll Warlord. Go. Timber fire. Uh, oh, the, the duel! duel. Duel on the Troll Warlord. Oh, he no. is alone here, but uh, nothing really done as uh, Oracle Ult just toxin, immediately ruins it. it. Oracle Ult immediately ruins the duel. Elsie goes down. Oh, Oracle troll is follows tearing him. them apart. Oh, oh nice hook shot. Oh, here up, comes uh, the unit. snowball. Their their two big ones are down. This team fight is on a back roll. The break, oh, the e break is failed. Man. This car is rolling backwards downhill. This is looking bad. Ogre Magi caught, just completely destroyed in moments yeah, flat. definitely what you want. Rubik wants nothing to do with that zip code. That BKB on the Troll Warlord really changed everything. Like, he just, he was able to pop it right before the duel went off, and as a Same result, they got nothing for him. Oh, yeah. Top tower has fallen. I almost Radiant's trust you. And now, so unfortunately, it is Troll Warlord. everything for him, I would say. It is Troll Warlord, so now he's just going to be able to very casually just knock things over. Rubik actually smartly just trying to make ne use Nether Toxin to uh, buy himself some time, but it's just really not quite enough. Even yeah. with all these efforts, Troll Warlord just, uh, very... The very... way Troll's hitting these racks, it feels like he's got a leveler. Yep. Radiant's Melee racks down. Oh, yeah. They're switching over yeah, to another tower. They do not care here. about the range racks. They're looking to force a GG, basically. Yep. Troll Warlord for forced to switch over to uh, ranged axes. They're gonna get the T3. Old. Looks like T3 and leave. Uh. Elsie coming in. Duel okay. the uh, Timbersaw. Ooh, Gets he's taking a lot of heavy hits. He's the gonna go down. So go. Oh, uh, Quap down again. Oh, he's ulted. He's pissed. Troll Warlord ulted. He's magic immune. LC looking, just wants to get close, but he just can't, Wraith King just can't fight at all in the Viper crap. He just has to walk away. He has no BKB yet, he still hasn't actually completed it. Like, he gets right caught out, he's gonna go down! Goodbye, Rubik. Oh, boy. Ogre's also Bye caught back. out, he just can't sit, oh, okay, he actually managed to Glimmer Cape out. Oh, they want this man. They want this man, they want him very yeah, dead. They're chasing yeah, they him right out. Left. As fast as hard as possible. Kind of split now, chasing, trying to chase both Oracle and Troll. With with the no. uh, with Oracle's skill set, though, he just cannot. They just can't stop him very effectively. Creeps knock out the yeah. range tracks at top. Troll legitimately got out of there faster than anything I've ever seen. That man, that man channeled That's his Lambert, man. Bolt and he took off. That's absolutely Lambert for you. This, this yeah. match was starting to look like uh, it was really going off the rails for the Dyer there. but uh, Give him an inch, he'll take a mile Lambert. from you. Yep. Very good turnaround uh, on this. On a game that was starting to look a little hopeless for them. They uh, ended up turning it around very well. Now it's starting to look just uh, just as hopeless for Team Spirit. So Randy, you're a doctor, right? What what happens now for Spirit? What's the plan? Uh, get, get some farm on Wraith King and hope you have an answer for the troll. Radiant. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've heard something like this before. Except uh, I think that hope is a little uh, less a little existent. Later. We will be getting the BKB up on the Wraith King in the next fight, and now we wait. Eventually. <laughs> Goodbye, Quap. Dude, what is with Spaz teams and pausing all the goddamn time? <laughs>
Maybe Team Spirit pauses a lot. I don't know. It's the it's the uh, it's the goal of the game. Somebody pings a bounty room. Timber saw, in fact, pings a bounty room. Yeah. So a few interesting things. BKB is coming up for Wraith King. I believe he is literally pulling off the courier now. Well, he's at least got the recipe. Does he have everything else for it? He does. Yeah. BKB up on the Wraith King. That will change things. One of the biggest issues right now, Wraith King not able to fight at all if he's in Nether Toxin, and that's going to change with the BKB. Yep. Still not sure he can particularly match Troll in a fair fight, but... I, I think they've gotten the, uh... I think they've gotten the sort of... They've gotten down exactly what they need to do about the LC at this point, I think. They've yep. gotten down exactly uh, how they're going to keep the thumb down on LC at this point. It, it, noticeably, LC started dominating in that mid-game, but I think the uh, Princess Party now has sort of turned it to the point where uh, it's kind of getting a little hard for, for LC to get anything done in these fights. Yeah. Seems like every duel now is getting immediately responded to with an Oracle ult. Yeah, they definitely uh, lost their shock value, I think, in that sense. Right. There are still some weak spots. Uh, Timber Saw, in particular, has just not been able to accomplish very much, especially for how much money he's got on uh, hand. I, I feel like fights. it's because his items haven't really progressed since their base items. He's only got a hood. He doesn't have a pipe. He's only got a Yules. He doesn't have, you know, Wind the Waker. Wind Waker, for example. He doesn't have a shard, so he's going to be able to flame skeletons. He's going to uh, give him some niche here. It's he really to easy push. to underestimate Flamethrower's capabilities, but it definitely helps. I can tell you this much, nothing sucks more than dueling, yeah, so. dueling Flamethrowering Timber Saw as LC. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the, the Radiant actually assumed they're winning to Roche here. They kind of Ooh, moved their kinda... counter. Um, but... Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, Quapox oh, BKB. Oh, oh she's yep. going to go for it. No, she's... she missed. She, she missed. missed Oracle. Hookshot oh, comes she, in in response, oh and Quab just has to uh, skip town. LC jumps in, wants chaos. to duel somebody, but just can't find anybody. Has to Oracle's back gonna away. Oracle's going to die in his place. Quab wants to go back in to get him. Oracle did die. She's... Wraith King sitting oh, in the Oh, the blade mill! The blade mill! No! She hit the blade mill! Oh, yep, no! Just exploded. Wraith King oh, saved the Nether Toxin. Uh, Nether Toxin from Rubik actually kills uh, Clockwork there. Wraith King wow, saved that... BKB for his second life, but unfortunately all he could do with his second life is just walk away. There is so much happening here, it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Certainly a lot of action for just a one for one. I guess yeah. one for two, because Oracle bought back. Yeah, he did, he did have to buy there. Clock for to Clockwork, the, though, uh... that is a spicy trade. Well, Clock for Clock and uh, Oracle. And buyback yeah, yeah, on Oracle yeah. as well. Now Lambert's just gonna take himself a Roche. Yeah, just casually, very casually, and uh, that Satanic you're talking about, it's here. Uh, Satanic Oracle the, uh, is out Oracle of position here. In the wrong spot, just getting dueled out, and that's his dieback. He's going to be down for ages. Not that Speaking long. of ages. <laughs> and they also got the shard. Yep. Rubik's still got that nether tox. I don't know if they're able to take this even with Quap. No, she's going to be up in like 20 seconds. They could very they easily are, turn this uh, around in that time frame. They are running for the hills right now. They kind of have to. Troll is there. very, Troll's very speedy, and he's got that Ag shard just sitting in his pocket. Actually, yep. It's not yeah. determined who's getting it yet. I feel like he could definitely make some use out of it. I'll say, I feel like I uh, necessarily put an item away to do that right now. There's a desperate need, I think, for uh, for Heaven's Albert on Team Spear. They kind of needed one yesterday. Now that Troll Warlord just can't be ignored anymore. They are consistently able to break him still, and he. I don't believe he does have BKB, but he's uh, it's only yeah. a very narrow portion of the fight. He's able to use it. Kind of a little hesitant on going in on him. So LC wanted to duel him in the uh, Nether Talks, and then Viper's own Nether Talks and came in for that. Yep. Yep, that's Timber's Lotus. He's had that for a little while now. Looking for a double duel, I assume. LC is out for blood, but she doesn't see an opening just yet. She definitely yeah. wants to grab someone like Viper or Clocker, especially, especially wants to try and get Oracle very early yep. in. Yep. Speaking of Oracle, he is back. He with the dieback, uh, he's fairly low level. He's gonna slow siege, as they say, on the uh, mid here. Yeah, for sure. I'm sort of surprised that uh, Timbersaw here hasn't gone for a straight Ags yet, because he could use that to pressure both bottom and middle lanes, uh, Creep waves by using chakrams. 
That's true. I don't think he necessarily. I think they have enough push power on this lineup that he doesn't necessarily yeah. super need that, though. True, Ping but the out. burst would definitely have to deal with some of those uh, tankier heroes like Wraith King, yeah, tr uh, Ogre, especially, especially LC. Yeah, especially in combination with that SNK he already has. It's a very nasty combo. Spell Prism just got dropped over there for. Uh... Uh oh, uh -oh. speaking of Timber Saw. Very good duel here as Timbersaw's getting just completely Ooh. destroyed, but Oracle shows oh, up last no. second. Oh no. And he's not having any of this. He is pissed that that just happened to him. He's going yep. up for blood. He doesn't care what happens. And LC ends up going oh. down. LC, not the Timber. Wraith King, uh, first life, reincarnating. Yeah, he's Legion Commander actually mauled. flying back to try and uh, pull him out. Got the uh, BKB, BKB up on the, uh, on the Wraith King, but the BKB just doesn't oh. do the job. Look at Timber go in here. He is fearless. He does not give a crap. Goodbye, LC. Wraith King buying oh, yeah. back. But unfortunately, Wraith King not the most ideal buyback hero. Chef Farnhouse at least trying to make something happen by blowing up the supports in the back line, but just can't get it done. Triple kill for Lambert. Lambert blowing down the racks. They're panicked, they're scattered, they're not in position, they don't know what they're doing, they're completely at a loss. And this is buyback, she's gonna. Oh, barely make it out, actually. Wait, the DOT. <gasps> oh, oh hey, good damn. Like Rob, man. Very good, uh, very good, uh, not some, but root from the Oracle there. Just keep Quab barely outside of the fountain just to make that happen. Yep. That's dieback for Quab. That's the last hope they have at even keeping themselves, like, alive here, I think, pretty much gone. Ogre gets a nice multicast, but it's only going to serve to pop the Aegis. Yep. He still has BKB, he still has Satan, he still has all his tricks off cooldown. Yep. Team Spirit desperately trying to hang on. I don't think they have Ray it even. He isn't surrendering around. just yet. He's going for it. He wants to kick Viper's ass. Uh, spider legs does some maneuver. Back. And now Troll's yep. got that Skull Basher. He's beating on him. This man can't run for his life. His ult has popped. Ogre's doing his best to support from the sidelines, but it's just them. Yep, immediately, There's nothing gets completely oh, man, destroyed. Goodbye, Wraith King. Goodbye, game. Boy. Lambert, huh? That's classic Lambert for you. All on GG's for Smells Like Team Spirit. All right, that is the uh, that is the game. If you're watching at home, is uh, we're going to have that brief interruption. We'll see you in game two.